Welcome back to another episode of Hey Fam with Dr. Sam I Am, featuring Dr. Sabrine Mudawali, bringing you the best in educational tips to help you and your students thrive. Hey guys, Dr. Sam I Am here again, coming to you with another video. This one is actually dedicated to my high school loves. Y'all know I don't call them babies anymore. I'm going to call them my loves because I love my students. I love each and every high schooler out there actually who's watching this video. But before we get started, you guys know what you got to do. Make sure you like this video. Share this with another one of your classmates because this is going to help them too have a successful senior year and please make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel below and make sure that you slide that notification over to the right so that you can receive notifications as to when I upload a brand new video so this video is dedicated to all my rising seniors class of 2021 stand up this is your year I am so excited for you guys this is such a pivotal time in your life and because it's such a pivotal time i want to make sure that you guys have a successful senior year and so this video is entitled no summer wasted okay can i get an okay no summer wasted and we are not going to waste time over this summer even in the midst of this pandemic even in the midst of uncertainties as to whether we're going back to school or we're not and so forth and so on we do not want to waste this time so i'm coming to you guys today with five tips on how not to waste your summer in preparation for your senior year so tip number one and yes i'm using my good old cell phone you guys know me i gotta make sure i have my notes and so i can be on point so tip number one self-reflection this is so, so important. And why this is important is because you need to know who you are in this moment, in this time, right? You have to make sure that your desires are still the same. You know, when you came to high school, freshman year, I'm going to be an attorney. I want to be a nurse. I'm going to be a cosmetologist and so forth and so on. And now four years later, I don't think that attorney, I don't think about that doctor, cosmetology might not be it. So you need to really sit down and do some self-reflection. Make a pros and a cons list. You know, these are the things that once was a desire of mine. Uh, these are the things that potentially is my new desires. And when I say pros and cons, where are the pros and cons of those once desires and those new desires, right? And then I want you to also go even deeper. Think it to yourself, hmm, self. What is it that you want today, self? Where do you see yourself in five years? Self, can you really see yourself doing that job if nobody paid you for it? Hmm, self, that might not be for you. Self, that may be for you. So do some self-reflection. Take this time and really try to figure out what it is, what it is that you want and you desire out of life. Tip number two, look into your options. You have options, ladies and gentlemen. You have options. Look into your options. College, yes, definitely an option. Military, yes, definitely an option. A gap year, yes, definitely an option. Some of you may feel the pressure from family members, from peers, from school teachers, from your parents, whomever it may be. But at the end of the day, you need to make sure that when you walk across that stage in 2021, whether it be May, June, or some of you may be early graduating in December, okay? So you want to make sure when you walk across that stage, the decision that you made is a decision you made on your own, and it's a decision that you are satisfied with. Whether it is that you desire to go straight to college, whether it is that you're going to take a semester off and work, whether it is that you're going to go and serve our country, and thank you so much. I have a special place in my heart for those who serve the country because I have military veterans in my family. And so... Or what it is that you decide to take a gap year and try to figure out what it is that you're going to do. It is pointless and really it's wasteful for you to go to college and waste an entire semester not knowing what you want to do, playing around, and knowing that you're not actually mature enough and ready to actually go off on your own. 
Dr. Sam I am is always going to be real with you and parents who are listening to this I'm going to be realistic with you okay because sometimes we send them off to college and unfortunately it's not the best time for them to actually venture into that some um, kids unfortunately have to end up coming back home but so this is why we're this this is no summer wasted this is why we're going through this right now and why you're listening to this video to ensure that when you make the decision you make the right decision and when come 2021 you are comfortable and happy with your decision tip number three tip number three is going to be create an acceptance and not right now I'm not gonna say a rejection box but not right at not right now not at this time box okay so you're creating two boxes I had a student actually shout out to Tobias Floyd I'm gonna shout shout him out shout out to Tobias Floyd because he's the one who actually came up with this idea he took um, his shoe box right and he took the shoe box and, he, and I'm telling you create two shoe boxes I know my girly girls will want to decorate it and do all these fancy things my boys may not some boys may hey do you it's your shoe boxes take two shoe boxes two empty shoe boxes i don't care if it's a pair of nikes jordan's reba i don't care what it is just two shoe boxes one is going to be your acceptance box this is the box where you're going to put all of your acceptance letters in there and the next one is going to be my not right now maybe later on box i don't want to call it a rejection box because sometimes schools may say hey you need to get your sat or act score up you don't have an automatic acceptance um you have a not right now it's um not right now delay right so you're going to put it in that box and why you're creating this is because later on in the school year your school counselor is going to come to you and say hey which schools have you gotten um, accepted to? They're going to do a tally. They're going to do a tally of the number of scholarships and all these different things that you've been awarded. So you want to make sure that you have all of those de documentation. Now, everybody has been going green, right? If the, the case, if that's the case for you, make sure that you create two shoe boxes online. Meaning you just need to get two folders, okay? But to make two folders, so one folder is going to be an acceptance folder, the other one is going to be a not right now folder. And I even say go even further, make a folder that says all things college. And then inside of that folder, you can put your acceptance and then you can also put your not right now, okay? And even in that same folder that you're gonna save on your computer, you can put your personal statements, essays, a scholarship um, application, all those things can go into that one folder so you have a central location for all of your documentations. But I'm gonna make another video on all of that other stuff later on. So let's just get to no summer wasted. Number four, tip number four is going to be create or revamp your resume. Ladies and gentlemen, if you do not have a resume, you need to create one before the school year starts. That resume, you're going to need it in order for those individuals who you're going to ask to write you a letter of recommendation. One of the first things I always ask people, do you have a resume? I have, well, I had 130 something kids. Now I have not, almost 1900 students to, to worry about. And so, you need to make sure that you give them a resume so that they can have specific information to place into your letter of recommendation. You do not want a generic letter of recommendation. I know this child, great student. Um, I highly recommend them. Yeah, that's whack. That's not a great letter of recommendation. You want the person to be specific. You want details. You want that meat. How would you feel if I came to you and just give you a bone? Yeah, that's what I equate a terrible letter of recommendation to, all right? But you will feel better if I came, came and give you a chicken bone with all this juicy chicken, all that meat on it, right? So this is why the resume is so important. So make sure you create or revamp your resume. Call on your parents, help, ask your parents for help in creating this resume. And the last tip I have for you guys with no summer wasted, it's definitely going to be determined when you want to take the ACT and SAT. Ladies and gentlemen, we all know that there, with the whole pandemic, a lot of things have changed and a lot of things have shifted in the way we do testing. ACT and SAT 
all right? Look on their website, www.act.org or www.collegeboard.org. And I'm going to drop those websites down below so you guys can click down below and find them. And you can just click on those websites, click on the link so that you all will know if there is a virtual platform that they're going to actually allow for you all to take the test. Because I've heard, and I haven't done the research yet, but I have heard that they are going to give an option where people can actually take the test online. So you want to make sure that you guys click again below. And while you're at it, don't forget to like and subscribe and share. Just want to make sure I put that out there. Um, click the link below so that you guys can know whenever it is time that the, when the test, the date of the test, when you need to register for the test, and you're going to want to make sure that you're preparing for the test. But don't worry. I got you. I'm going to do an entire video just talking about the ACT and the SAT. And guess what? Even some colleges are actually not even bothering with it because of the pandemic. So we're going to talk about that. But keep um, keep that hush hush. I just heard about another university that said, you know what? Cancel the ACT, SAT. We're not taking it this year. So then that may be a good thing for some of us. Um, but for the other of us who want to make sure that we want to get those this phenomenal scores and all, I'm going to do that video later, okay? So I don't want to take up too much of your time. But again, my five tips again for those of you so we don't have a wasted summer. Tip number one, again, self-reflection. Think about self, what is going on, where I am now. Number two, look into all of your options. Number three, create an acceptance and not right now box. Number four, Create or revamp your resume. And tip number five, determine when you take the SAT and the, or the ACT and or the ACT. I do highly suggest that you take both. But we'll get to that in another video. So before we go, I want to make sure that I leave you guys with an inspiring quote. And today's quote is coming from the late, great Nelson Mandela. And it says, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world ladies and gentlemen thank you guys so much for tuning in on today make sure you check us out next week when i'm going to talk about i don't know what i'm gonna talk about yet <laughs> But I'm going to make sure that you guys will have a video on next week. I love you all. And remember, continue being great because guess what? You deserve the best in life. Love you. See you next week.